All right. Our review today is John Waters. What year was this? 1993? 92? 93? Somewhere early 90s based on the cars. Uh, we are watching, uh, we watched Serial Mom. That's with an S. Serial as in serial killer. Great cast in this movie. Kathleen Turner, Sam Waterston. But is it just me or does Sam Waterston always play the same character? <laughs> he's always, kind of, the same type he's of always yeah. kind of meek, but he's a good actor. He is yeah. the dad he role. It he's, it, yeah. and it, you know, I've watched him in so much Law and Order, and then I, when I see him in something right. different, it's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, why, why are you a dad? <laughs> yeah. Matthew Lillard um, in here as well, uh, a little bit younger. That's Shaggy, so. the voice of Shaggy. Yeah. He played yeah. while well, he played Shaggy in two of the Scooby Doo movies. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and also in the Screen series yeah um, oh yeah that's right yeah so this movie i'm i was so surprised by how much i absolutely love this flick <laughs> yeah well it was john john waters and and, yeah. and and you when you told me that i was like shit really he did a bigger budget movie yeah that's yeah and he did a good job the the one thing that i did read was uh Kathleen Turner, he he offered the the movie role to several women, I guess, big big actors like mm-hmm. she was back in the time, and a couple of them wanted him to make her less what was it le- less malevolent, and he was like, no, then you're just not right for the part. Oh. One of them wanted something. I forgot what the other one wanted. Uh, well, one of them wanted that, and then they wanted a table read for everybody who was in the room before they even agreed to to do it, condescend to do it. And then somebody else said something. I, I forgot. I thought there was a third person. But when he gave it to Kathleen Turner, she read it and was like, I'm in. Didn't ask for anything else. Didn't just, just was like, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I will do this movie. Imagine having the balls. To be an actor and ask the director, I don't like how this one's done. Can we change this? Because do I would it rather. I know. I have witnessed it on set, and it blows my fucking mind. It's like, fuck you, get out of the way. This is you're you're right. hired to create somebody's vision, right. not to make it. You want to make that character? Go write it yourself. Sorry. No, no I get it. <laughs> I could see if you go to the writer or the director and you kind of know them. And it's one of those deals where you're like, we, I've played this character with you before, you know? Yeah. This character wouldn't do this, you know? Because, Let's talk about this. Yeah, because of this other thing that he did in this other movie. Yeah. Or well, because actually, kind of what of like, he does sooner. As as much as it sounded like Crispin Glover was a pain in the ass on the set of uh, Back to the Future, at least it's he's asking, he's in that yeah. character. I don't think he would do that. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. That's different. These people are like, well, that they don't want to be. I worked on a horror movie that'll never see the light of day because of, oh, of, yeah, fuck, yeah. of fuckheads. Um, and the, the main person was a basically a serial killer. Mm-hmm. But he was upset that people wouldn't like him. So he yeah. he kept he kept begging to be a more likable character. And I'm like, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> you know, it's like you're a serial killer man <laughs> what the oh God. Fuck? anyway regardless but yes this um that's is that, the, is that the one that that you guys filmed in like the killing scenes in the daytime yeah and i'll, I'll not discuss it anymore I but... no I, I just i wanted to make sure i was in the in the that right is movie. the one yeah let's do not yeah. day for night and yeah mm-hmm. anyway regardless you just don't think... do that Kathleen Turner was an excellent choice just because oh my at, god you're looking at Kathleen Turner as a more serious actress or you know uh-huh. comedy and stuff but this oh my god I almost fell off my couch when she made that first prank phone call <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's like so quick like they go they, she just gets up and goes and does it it's like I know she's like there, there's no there's no register and you see it in her eyes like right before she goes to do it there's no register of right and wrong in her head yeah. like there's yeah. nothing i mean you can see it in her face that you can see she's fucking crazy yeah she's got you nothing. can see the crazy yeah. and all right um real quick to our audiences um if you have not seen serial mom stop stop right yes. now don't don't listen stop. anymore 
we're going to spoil the hell out of this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, So from this point forward, we will be revealing stuff that you might want to watch. So if you've already seen it, stay with us. Come back yeah. after you've watched it, and we will continue now. Um, Very nice. Yes. So with the, with the with the phone call, I absolutely loved it that they showed why she had it out for her because she stole her parking place. <laughs> oh my! Well, at one point, <clears throat> it was the parking place that the, initially yeah. when she yeah. goes into the dreamy thing, mm-hmm. I was like, I almost texted you and was going to ask, is she just imagining all this? I wondered if it was going to go that way I too. I thought that's how it was going to end. Like it was, it was like they were yeah. going to show her back in the parking spot or someplace, like coming out of it, like oh okay, and, and just driving on. Which I wouldn't have put that past John Waters one bit. Right, I would not have put that past him at all. But that that was oh my god, she just she's chasing. I'm going to jump. Yeah, go ahead. She's we can go all over that one kid down the road and she's at full tilt like right after the church scene yes she's running in high heels and i'm yeah. like i wonder if she's actually running in high heels or if kathleen turner put on shoes because you don't see her feet yeah. but the character is just huffing after that kid. Yeah. she's almost got him man she's, she's almost got that kid <laughs> now yeah that's the one who ran into the bar yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and I love this. I love this fucking bar <laughs> scene. You have you have you have the band L Seven. Yeah. Well known nineties uh all girl uh grunge rock, uh hard rock band, mm-hmm. um playing as the band the camel whips. Oh my god, and their pants are so tight. They <laughs> had they had gigantic <laughs> gigantic protruding camel toes. Oh god, that was funny. I, it was. I died. I freaking died laughing when I saw that. I was that. like, I was "My like, God, that is so wrong on so many levels." <laughs> but this is the kind of shit that makes this movie wonderful. It's it's a irre- irreverent. It's uh-huh. it's funny. It's inappropriate. It's just it's just quirky. And the way the way it's been shot, the way it's been directed, the yeah. dialogue, every bit of it is like this is just I don't. I haven't seen a movie like this in a long time. No, no. And it's won't. not the fact that we're watching this woman who looks like the perfect example of a 1950s housewife with a little right. picket fence and looking at the birds. I love it. She's got bird watching books and inside the covers of her bird watching books are, are books on Charles Manson. And Oh my God. Oh, when, her, when her husband oh. finds the, the letters and tapes <laughs> from like Richard Speck and Ted Bundy. Oh my God. Oh, well, you find out then she really is a fan of serial killers. And she she has this weird, I don't know where it came from, but you you see that she wants to be a famous serial killer. That's it. That's her yeah, fucking, there, there's something that's that weird. motivation for that movie. She wants to be a famous serial killer. Oh God, I would have never and thought of that. she becomes one. Right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. That That's the whole point. That's her whole motivation in the entire movie, to get from point A to a famous serial killer. And, and the way... He, the way that water shot that I would love, this is another cat that I would just God, love. Yes. <laughs> the way he shot that was very bright. This is a very dark movie. I mean, the humor is very dark humor, yeah. but he shot it very like in daylight and, and even at night, whenever they're doing some stuff at night, it's bright. still much brighter. They're under the lamp. I mean, he, he purposely shot this to be brighter and happier. And yeah. she is, I, it's what I've makes it her, work. I've seen her in so many movies, and mm. this is the first movie that I ever watched Kathleen Turner in, and went, "Holy crap, she is br- a brilliant actress." She is. She's just. She goes out. She she goes out after the kid says, "Hey, so and so thinks you're the killer." Her her son's sitting at the table. She goes, oh, "That's very funny." She wipes her mouth. She goes. I'll be right back. She gets up and leaves, and you hear the car <laughs> pulling out of the driveway. <laughs> you hear the cop car chasing her down the street. And meanwhile, the family is still sitting <laughs> at the <laughs> table, and they're all looking at each other as you hear the car pulling out. And they're like, we got to go <laughs> save whatever his name is. <laughs> she oh, my God. Kill him. <laughs> and so, okay, so I can't remember the guy's name. Scotty, I think. Uh, so, oh my but, god! Yeah, uh, <laughs> just just her getting up. Oh well, excuse me. 
<laughs> walks right uh, out the door, man, to go kill that him. poor kid. This is before she catches him at the the uh, oh, Campbell oh, yeah. concert. And then that okay, I, I got to jump to that concert when when he fucking dies. She drops, <laughs> she drops, goes backstage and drops so lights on him. About it. Lights hit him. He catches on fire, <sighs> and the band chugs some whiskey and spits on his burning body. And they're like, yeah, it's it's so fucking awesome. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Like, the band member has no idea who this guy is or what's going on. She just swings down and spits on him, and you just see him, like, blow up. Like, <laughs> God, it was horrible. Oh, you, my You God. should wear your seatbelts. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And then when she – um, th- there's a scene where the uh, the husband, mm-hmm. and, and after he's he's looked at the books – He's just got this look on his face like, what in the hell Pandora's box did I just open? Like, what the, who am I fucking married to? (laughs) Just the look on his face. And then when they're in the bar and the cops, she's standing by the the stage up front, L7's playing, and she's like kind of bobbing her head. She turns around, looks at her husband. She's like, she puts her fingers in her ear and she's like, oh, it's so loud. And then turns back around and starts bobbing. And the dad and the son and daughter are just standing there looking at her like, what, what the hell just happened? Like they see the kid on fire. They, they know that she just murdered him. And they're <laughs> just like, they're like, what the hell just happened? The cops come up and throw the cuffs on her. She looks over at her husband like, what are you, are you going to help me? And he's just standing there like, what, what? His hands kind of go up and shrug, like, what, what can I do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> this, uh, this movie, Kathleen, she, Kathleen Turner plays this character to a T. Yeah. You see, this is what I mean by, like, the, the, the act, the, the mm-hmm. first time I ever really saw her, like, wow, boom, that's, that's freaking awesome, is her 1950s mom to psychotic it's it's a switch i don't know how she turned that switch on but if i was sitting across the table from kathleen turner at that point in time and i saw that switch i would walk the fuck out the door and hope that i could outrun her <laughs> well, let, let, let's bring that up to this point uh, i forgot to mention the daughter is played by ricky lake yeah um Back when she was still likable. <laughs> yeah, so funny in this. And it, of course, it made me think of the other John Waters movie, Hairspray. Uh, I've never Lake seen that, well. I don't think. So we will add that to our queue. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely. But um, how at the end, she's got a new boyfriend. And now he's worried <laughs> because he's going to go home. And like, Just don't make her angry. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Be, be nice. So, uh, so throughout the course of this movie, she ends up. Uh, I love it when she goes after Ricky Lake's boyfriend in the bathroom at the swap. Oh meet my gosh! Yeah, with the poker and pulls out a liver, and she can't get the liver. She's off. trying to, yeah, she's trying to shake the poker to get the liver off, and then she's got to like take her fingers, yeah. little pinchy fingers, and peel it off. She's like, Ew. and then she's walking away. The kid's head is in the the. The urinal. the urinal, and then she just flushes the toilet on the kid. It's so stupid and crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you loved this because uh, I didn't think I was going to like this this much. But this neither is, did I. Like, this like is I thought, great. <laughs> I, as soon as you tell me it was John Waters, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get some enjoyment out of it. Yeah, some of his movies, like Pink Flamingo, really bothered me. <laughs> like, well, I don't want to watch somebody eat dog shit either. But no, you know, <laughs> but it was so unexpected in Pink Flamingo. I remember, yeah. I remember that scene. It'd just be like, oh, oh. Because that oh. actually happened. Divine really was real. The person was so fucking drunk and drugged out. It's like, oh. oh my God. Oh, but anyway. <laughs> Pink Flamingo. That's a completely different one. Mm. But I'd never seen Crybaby either. Yeah. And I guess I'm not that, a huge fan of Crybaby. I guess that was the first role that. Uh, um, well, Johnny Depp is in it. Johnny Depp, but his girlfriend, the blonde. Was it Tracy Lords in that as Tracy well? Tracy Lords, that, I which think she that also first, showed up in this. Yeah, yeah, that was the first movie I think Tracy Lords did that wasn't right. pornography. I I've seen her in that. I saw her in this. 
I've seen her in like one or two other movies and I sit there and think she's actually the, the this didn't really showcase it, but she's no. actually a pretty good actress. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wonder if you could now, especially today, get her to be in a movie. Probably. Like, like just go, look, this is a movie. There's nothing, you know, she, stuff she's, you want to stay away from, we're staying away from. But you're a good enough actress where I think you could do this. I want to say she's been showing up for quite some time. I know she was in Blade. and Yeah, um, she shows up. Even, like, even, even more current. But, yeah, she never has anything uh -huh. big. Right. It's always some small parts. So at and, least and she's I getting think, work. I think she'd be good in comedy. I think she could really, like, especially if you. Yeah. It, she kind of showed that she, here. <laughs> if she was comfortable enough to play off of her past. And mm. I don't know how comfortable she is yeah. with that in real life. But if she was comfortable enough to just do something stupid and silly, like um, let's just say a porn star died in the seventies before he became a really big actor, and then Sounds he started like haunting a, a unfinished screenplay. Uh, uh, <laughs> then he a started dudes haunting, writing. <laughs> haunting a retirement home for yes, pornography probably. people. Um, I'm just saying, like if if she would turn up in that as like one of the uh, investigators. So, listeners, if you want to see this movie that Dave is throwing out, hit us up. We'll we'll start. Uh, we'll, we'll take donations. You can be producers. Yeah, sure. um, we, we we may just we, need to open up a uh uh uh. Was that a Patreon? Might have to open up. Yeah, a something like that. that. Uh, or a all, all one of you, something. Yeah, yeah. but all, anyway, all five of you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that I mean that was <laughs> that's including you and me. <laughs> I know, right? By the way, uh, but that that's one of the things is. Is he's not afraid to use people, no. no matter what their past is, or even if they're not actors. And right, John Waters has an eye for for um, a funny story or storytelling. He can mm -hmm. tell a story, and he's got a sense of humor. It is it is all over this thing, and it's <laughs> it's crazy. The fact that he got such named actors in, they all right. obviously right. loved it, and they must love working for him. Mm -hmm. um, and that's. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I would love, give me five minutes with John Waters. You know, yeah. I just, just, would, just would love to, to sit chat down and go, wow. Like just talk. Yeah. You know, I I've seen that he did something that was like a question and answer thing one time. And it was many years ago and I watched it and it was very interesting because he starts answering questions that everybody wants to know the answers to. <clears throat> Some of them were on cue cards that he took. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is still messed up from COVID. Yeah. Uh, but um, he had some on cue cards and some he just naturally knows what everybody wants to know. And one of the questions was about um, the the poop. The, of course. <laughs> the of course. It's probably asked that a million times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just one of those questions he, he threw there. He goes, okay, I already know the first question everybody wants to know. And that was like the first, I think, the first thing he answers. <laughs> and then he just goes, he, he'll answer a couple of the cue cards, and then he'll throw out a question that he knows everybody wants. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. We, You can just hear the crowd be like, oh, yeah, that, that's, yes, we all want to know that, <laughs> that answer. And he just talked, and I was like listening to him thinking, this guy is brilliant. He's weird. He's a little, he's a little yeah. quirky. You yeah. might not want to have him over after dark <laughs> but but he'd be a lot of fun to hang out with probably yeah absolutely absolutely um, but but yeah it was just he i didn't know this was a john waters movie until you told me that i was like holy crap yeah this was this this movie surprised the hell out of me i really yeah. enjoyed it i found it incredibly humorous um but what i really dug was the way it was shot the dialogue yeah. the whole story the way the direction um, it is so you can watch it and feel the quirkiness. Yeah, you feel yeah. John, John Waters' signature is all over this movie. And oh that's yeah, cool. he's Absolutely. got a brand, and you see it. And when I would love one day for to be able to do that as an artist to say, yeah. like you with your drawing, I can see a drawing that you've done in a comic book panel. That's a David Mancos, you know. See, so, and I don't see it. Like I've had people yeah. tell me that before. I'm like, I have no. 
Really? That's yeah. Okay. You have a style. I can't tell you what it is. Right. But I can I can see it. It's like there it is. There's David's style. When 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 you put stuff on Instagrams. Right. That that David Man goes all day. I never <laughs> I never see it. But okay, yeah. thank you. It's, I appreciate it's really that cool. A lot. It's really it, cool. It, so it, when 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 you see that with John Waters, you 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 know you're watching a John Waters movie the same way you right. know you're watching watching a John Hughes film. Um, they right. just have a signature right. to them. Um, and that's refreshing in this day of cookie cutter, uh, to quote Martin Scorsese, yeah. amusement park rides. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, well, and there's fun. a place, there's a place for an amusement park ride. Absolutely. And then there's a place yeah. for a museum. There's a place, yeah. you know, it, it just got its own thing. Not saying <laughs> one's better than the other. It's just, there's a place for everything. You know? Right. It's, I, I agree I, with that. I thought there's one scene where this, in the movie towards getting towards the end before they, they go to court, the the mom is rushed out by the son and his girlfriend out of church. Yeah. They're trying to run away from the cops. The mom jumps in the back seat and she's she's laying down in the back seat yeah. of, of the friend's car that they're going to steal. And she's like, do you think I need a lawyer? And the son says, you need an agent. <laughs> okay. The son was great. Let's. The son let's, was like, he's all forgiving, man. He's figuring out how to make money on this shit. Yeah. Oh well, from the very beginning. Okay, yeah. so you find out his son and his girlfriend Birdie um, work and hang out at a video store. Which, yeah. I mean, that shows you the time that this movie was made. Yeah. But um, he's into Be horror kind, movies. You want. And, and I need to really take a look and see what this movie was. They kept looking at Blood Feast. Straight I jacket. Straight jacket is what it was. Straight okay. jacket. The, the one where the um. um Okay. What's her name comes down with the axe? It's called Straight Jacket. Okay. I think, I think it was called Straight Jacket. I looked but, that up. Oh, cool. But what was interesting is he and his girlfriend are all into the gore. Oh, this is great. And I get that yeah. as somebody who's been in gore films and loves to see it. Um, and I can attest to this next part I'm talking about. When they go kill that, when she goes and kills that lady and Birdie looks through the window and sees all the blood, she's like, uh-huh. <gasps> Oh my God! It's not like the movies at all. This is horrible. <laughs> Birdie is right. Um, right. Right. There is a huge difference. Yes, watching these gory movies, you're like, oh, that's sick. Trust me, it doesn't look anything like that in real life. It's it's worse in real life. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot it, worse. It's a lot worse. Um, <laughs> but, so, but it was so funny. Oh my God! Death, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I can't even finish the sentence. A she leg of lamb. A <laughs> leg of lamb. <laughs> and then feeds it to the dog. <laughs> and the, yeah, the dog. She's in there petting the dog before she goes kills this lady. Pets the oh dog. Eats God. snacks. <laughs> She's she's so psycho. Oh. Anybody that just made her slightly angry, boom. But I love it. The the I forget the lady's name. Uh, the actress was Mink Stoll. <laughs> you gotta love that. Which <laughs> the one, one that was she, Mink Stoll? The one she made the prank calls to. Oh, okay, that was Mink. Because I'm like, who the hell? Because I saw the name and I knew yeah. she was in at least one or two other movies. Oh him. yeah, absolutely. His movies. Just but when she remember. when she comes over for tea or just stops by or whatever, yeah, and and she looks around the house and then looks at her and says, "Are those pussy willows?" <laughs> <laughs> just like she said the word "pussy" yeah. in her, okay. her, her her prank phone calls, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she breaks her down on the freaking on the stand. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, no matter what we say, I, I hope we're talking so out of sync for anybody. Oh who my god, this movie's—we're movie. we, all over the place because it had a lot, like David saying, it's out of sync for us. It—it's just so funny when and Suzanne Summers is in this movie. Yes, <laughs> this is that she hadn't maybe she hadn't done anything in her. No, I think she was on a series at this point on television, so she may have still have been yeah. been up there. She she is being hired to play Kathleen Care. Kathleen Turner's character in the made for TV movie. In the making of the movie that they're going to make of this. And she's just trying to get into character when she's being interviewed by the press. And she's so innocent and she's this and she's so good. And Kathleen Turner finally gets, you know, she's told she's innocent and she's walking out with, with Suzanne Summers. And Suzanne Summers says, Stand over on my right hand side. This is my good side. I need to be photographed. And she won't. 
Kiff me, turn and goes to the other side. And they're they're kind of moving back and forth. And she finally turns around and she just totally freaks out on on Homer's. I'm gonna kill. Well, no, she doesn't say I'm gonna kill you. She says, This is my good side. And yeah. she just clicks. And you can see the Summers is just looking at her like holy shit she's a fucking murderer well, that's <laughs> it's like great, it all comes into reality they're talking about how innocent she is yeah and she slips away and kills somebody while they're <laughs> right literally right <laughs> after she's been exonerated um, exonerated of all the murders and found innocent oh she goes and kills somebody in the courthouse <laughs> in the courthouse on the payphone Oh, beats her to death with the payphone. You're not supposed to wear white shoes after Labor Day. That was what did it. (laughs) Shoes were being driven nuts the whole fucking time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Folks, this is dark humor. This is is, is sick and twisted humor. But my gosh, it's fun. It 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 really is. Kathleen Turner plays such a great crazy like she couldn't do it now i think she's 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 too old she's she's probably retired or whatever yeah but at the time this was she was at her height mm-hmm. this this i think this might have even been after romancing the stone i think it was stone movies. so she was she's at her pinnacle and for her not to ask for a table read ask to have anything rewritten ask to do anything special not ask Susan Sarandon was asked to do this part initially, but she was asking for too much money. That was the only thing that really killed Susan Sarandon's chances. You know, yeah. she probably didn't really want to do it, so she, you know, outpriced herself. Uh, it, I'm glad she did. Fine. I'm I'm glad yeah. she asked too much because Kathleen Turner was perfectly cast. And Kathleen Turner just, like I said, she clicks. I mean, you see it being, "Hi, I'm I'm a mom with an apple pie." And to, yeah, I'm gonna kill you with this apple pie. Like that quick, yeah. like she turns on and off that quick. She, <laughs> she kills. I'm sorry. I'm getting back into the movie real yeah. quick. When she throws the fucking air conditioner out the window, to land on the guy. To That's land on the great. Guy. Oh but my what god! Am- what amazed me is one thing we didn't see in the movie is she was brilliant. She sent letters using somebody else's magazines, cutting the letters yeah. out. Um, yeah. She killed somebody with her neighbor's scissors. So right. She, she had planned everything. So when she ended up in court and was her own lawyer, she uh-huh. destroyed them. And it was beautiful. And it's like, wow, that was slick, you know? Even, was, even with the poker, her friend bought the poker yes. and handed it to her. Yeah, you know, so that right there was yeah. Of course, my fingerprints are on it. She, she handed it to me. I set yep. it under the table. Yep. Yeah, it was it just was great. She just tears them apart, but it's, it's just it's so awesome. funny how she does it. Like she knows she's doing it. She she's like, what she says something to the lady. Fuck you to the lady, right? <laughs> like when so. she's questioning her or something. Yeah. She fuck me, fuck you. And the judge is like, what the hell's going on? Because <laughs> everybody in court has their attention shifted. <laughs> Yeah. So that she takes that opportunity to like insult the lady while she's on the on yes. the stand, and that lady just starts freaking out, and everybody's looking at her like, "What is wrong with you, lady? Yes. <laughs> Why are you freaking this is out?" Brilliant. She's, she's just asking brilliant. you a question. Yeah. But and yeah, you can just see Kathleen Turner, and when she's found innocent, how terrified the family is. The family, uh-huh. the family knows she did. They freaking watched her kill the one kid. Yes. <laughs> like it'll be okay. Just don't make her angry. Yeah, she'll be all right. Just we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And, and that's one thing. The kids were. I'm. We're used to seeing older kids playing kids. Right. But John Waters said, "Fuck it. They don't look like high schoolers. I don't care. They're yeah, high schoolers. I don't, I don't care. They're high schoolers. <laughs> and it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was, Mickey it Lake well. actually played a good character in this because she, she overplayed her part. She overplayed it so well. Yeah. And I don't know. I've only seen her in like a couple of other things. But in this, she was just like. She did a really good job because every, every 
good looking guy came by, she would make a little face and bat, and it was perfect. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> the nineteen fifties acting for her was perfect for that. Yeah, that's um, a good way to put it. <laughs> the, the, the photographer. That's, that's yeah. taking pictures towards the end, the guy that she winds up with. Yeah. She's like flinging her hair back. Yes. <laughs> and he's just taking pictures of her. her mother being arrested, and this guy's taking pictures of her, and she's <laughs> flinging her hair back over the shoulder. Yeah. Oh my God. She's so freaking hysterical. That was a yeah. funny, that was a funny bit with her and the photographer. Yeah. Yeah. But oh my God. Iller just wanting to make money. Yeah, that's great because he was so I meant to get back to that he was so into the horror movies and everything yeah. and they kept saying it was it was damaging his brain or whatever but yeah. geez, you find out she loved that can we go back to that scene or whatever where yeah. <laughs> she was into it too I love yeah. it it was it was great she comes in and critiques the one scene doesn't she yeah I think so <laughs> like, something like he's watching it. A, like that wouldn't happen yeah. oh my god <laughs> that's just so funny and I didn't I didn't know he was in this movie yeah, I didn't even I, that, know that he was in the movie. And when I saw him, it was a pleasant surprise. Like, oh my God, it's Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to give a shout out to the person who recommended this movie. Uh, it is a Tony Riles from Mobile, Alabama, who is a excellent headshot photographer. So anybody in the local area that needs a headshot, please go see Tony. She does all mine and almost everybody on the Gulf Coast because she is absolutely amazing. But at Very my good. last session about two years ago, having headshots done, um, she had mentioned Serial Mom and said, you got to see it. And her thing was that phone call. She said, you're just not going to believe seeing Kathleen Turner go off like this. <laughs> and it's hysterical. So thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony, very much. Much greatly appreciated. Needed yeah. to laugh, man. Needed yeah. to laugh. Yeah, so that is... Um, I'm going to give my final thoughts. Watch it. Do yourself a favor. Watch it. Yeah. It's fucking great. I I, <laughs> I concur. I absolutely concur. I, I can't add anything <laughs> to what you just said, Scott. Stop looking. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All there right. Go. All right. It's there weird because my camera's reversed. I have to look at the wall to look at you. Yeah. I, don't <laughs> I think I'm looking at the wall. Um, yeah. <laughs> So um, I have no idea what movie is up next. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We are doing Halloween at this time. Right. So you have just uh, heard our review for the first uh, Halloween movie that we're doing. Um, and we are going to move on to 1958's The Blob, starring With Steve, Steve McQueen. McQueen. Yes, the great, late, late great Steve McQueen. Breaking things. So... Until next week, see you later. Bye. Thank you for watching, folks. Thank you.